Being selfish is good. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jim. I make videos about chronic pain. Talking about chronic pain. Mine is due to 40 years now with thoracic outlet syndrome or TOS. And uh, I've also had three lower back surgeries, including a two level lumbar fusion about 34 months ago now. <laughs> so, anyway, also my wife uh, passed away two years ago. So, I've been living alone um, by myself. I think it's the first time I've actually lived alone in pretty much my whole life, really. And um, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. One thing um, for me is, you know, when you live with chronic pain, you know, um, I can actually manage my days, um, you know, make them do everything the way I want to do them. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm on disability, I don't have to work, so, um, but I enjoy making these videos. I don't have to make videos, but it gives me, it gives me something to do, and I feel like um, me sharing some of my experiences, you know, might help and encourage a few other people who, uh, you know, who live with chronic pain as well. But one thing I like about being alone is, like, I spend a lot of time working on my mobility, and, um, you know, so I do that, and also um, I've been doing a lot of working on myself mentally, doing a lot of meditation and stuff like that, and sometimes you, that takes just, you know, quiet. You almost need to be alone to do that, and so, you know, but just being by myself, there's no distractions. I can, you know, I spend a lot of time doing that, that uh, type of stuff lately, you know, uh, self-growth. I listen to a lot of self-growth uh, videos and, um, you know, where they teach you, um, you know, about self-growth and letting go of, of the past. That's my thing lately is I just live for the day. After my wife died, I kind of just took the attitude that today's all there is. I mean, I may not wake up tomorrow, so um, there's no point worrying about tomorrow or the future. You know, I have no fear of the future of, you know, um, me getting worse and, you know, what could happen in the future just because I don't, I don't think about it. I just live for the day and I'm, I spend a lot of time working on letting go of the past and I, I feel like I'm making a lot of progress with that. I say I've been doing a lot of meditations and stuff, and I'm, I feel like I'm letting go of more and more old stuff. I feel like um, I just feel a lot better. Just I just feel more happy and content lately. And also by living alone, no one depends on me. You know, I don't have, you know, kids to take care of or wife to take care of or anyone that's always wanting me to do this or do that when I know physically I can't do it. I can just take care of me for a change and I kind of know my limitations and I can work around them and I can just kind of plan my day around them. And a lot of times, like, you know, if I have a video or something I want to do, I usually kind of plan that the day before and then when I get up, a lot of times I'll get up early in the morning, four or five in the morning, and just get going and working on that. But like other days, if I don't have any plans, I just follow my intuition and just kind of let it take me, you know, where I end up. I mean, if I just, if my intuition says, hey, go, go out and do this or go out and do that, or I just kind of go with that. And it seems to work well for me. It seems like, um, it's a fun way to live. You just kind of let the day unfold as you go along. And it's, it's kind of fun living that way. So it's funny. It's like um, sometimes on this channel lately, I'm not quite sure what to talk about, but I just keep <laughs> getting these little voices saying, you know, make a video, put a video up on that channel. And sometimes I'm not really sure what to talk about. And uh, sometimes I just kind of get a rough idea and I turn on the camera and just start talking and see what comes out and uh, you know you never know what people will will take from it um, you know sometimes after uh, you know people's you know lose a spouse or whatever they they it seems like they have a hard time getting over it and you know they're just lonely all the time and they never really kind of get up and move on with their life but I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of that and um, like I said, I'm working on my head, working on my body, working on 
everything, like trying to uh, improve myself as a person as much as I can and just try to uh, keep making videos to try to encourage you guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys next time.